Hi, this is John. Uh, today I'm working on a customer's uh, portable air conditioner. As you can see, it is a uh, it's an LG. And um, the problem that I had with this one is it just wasn't cooling. affordable and to actually pay somebody to look at it you could own another a new one uh, but I thought you know what let me just tear this apart and see what I find okay so uh, the part that was bad was this right here it's a little capacitor and this helps the compressor that's behind this filter it helps the compressor start and run smoothly uh, these capacitors are, are really inexpensive and uh, and but they're also unpredictable um, as far as how long they will last um, so um, one way you could tell you could tell if it's a capacitor and plus n most of all my service calls in air conditioning is uh, nearly all of them uh, is a bad is a bad capacitor This particular unit has a special overload at the compressor. So, if you ever notice it not cooling, if you stick your ear real close to it like this, uh, when and while you're trying to get it to come on, and you gotta wait, you gotta wait like five, ten minutes. You'll hear a click. Usually, you'll hear a click, click, and then it'll be another three to five minutes. Then you'll hear another click, click. That tells you that compressor is not starting, okay? And uh, so the first thing you want to check is is the capacitor. Now, there's no real way I could explain how for you to test it unless you watch some videos and you see that, um, and you have a special meter like this one that has a microfarad tester. And then, then you would set it to that. You'd put your meters across the terminals, and then you would look for that number. On this number here, it's 60. And that right there is a UF, which is the same meaning as MFD. Microfarad, that means, that UF means microfarad. And then it has to be within 5% of that number that's on your capacitor, okay? Now you don't have to buy the manufacturer's capacitor. Uh, that might be three to four times the price. You can get a universal capacitor. As long as you have this voltage, that it's that voltage or higher. Like for example, this one here's a 60 microfarad, 250 volt AC. Now this is a 125 volt system. What it's saying is that capacitor um, has a 200 volt AC um, it just just means that's just how heavy duty it is. The one I put in there was a 440 uh, VAC, so it's going to be a lot heavier duty than this. It it was a bit longer, but it still fit. Now here's where you find that capacitor if you have this exact model. First, you have to take all of these screws off, okay, and then that easily swings out of the way, and then you just have two screws in the front. And then this cover comes off, that one slides over to the side, and at the very top, very top up here, you'll see two screws with the little metal electrical cover plate that you lift up, and then you'll see this inside that electrical compartment. And there'll be like uh, three wires going to it, two on one side and one on the other. And that has to be hooked up the same way when you put the new one in. So, conclusion is I Replace the capacitor and now it's running fine. Uh, you could probably get this capacitor on on the internet for probably 
anywhere from ten to twenty dollars. Okay, uh, that's about all I have to say on this one.